Say goodbye. Like in conversation with him while he cut his hair, yeah. you need to stick the word dubious as many times as you can. Okay. Oh, through the duration of the haircut. Dubious. Yeah. <laughs> That's the hairstyle, eh? Originally, I'm from Portugal, and I live in the south coast of the United Kingdom. I'm getting a haircut. The, it's quite a bit of a challenge for me. I've not had this haircut since I was very, very young, like a child. But anyway, barbering has evolved so much, which I think is the right time for me to... Uh, um, Go for this haircut now because we can modernize it a little bit. Say goodbye. Yeah, I can't see anything, so I don't know what I think we're. Like. I think that's we're done. We're actually done. <laughs> it's just a chunk. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going through and making sure like I have a good baseline where everything is around the same guard that I want the top to be. I always tell people whenever we do a cut like this, like sometimes if someone has a part and they had a part in their hair, yeah. you're going to still see that part for maybe like a day or two. Your hair is yeah. going to want to go. But then after you shampoo it about uh, one or two times, you're going to be pretty much like back to normal and resetting it. So yeah. Yeah, let's look at it. So that is the four. Oh I'm, my God. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. And it's funny because it looks bulky as hell right now. Oh, but yeah, yeah. this will all be taken out. I'm honestly thinking maybe a little shorter a little on top. Shorter. How do you yeah, feel sure. about that? This is eh, close to about a three and a half, especially if someone's, you know, first time buzzing in a long time. I'm going to take the time to figure out exactly where you want the top. That's, that's the majority of what I focus on first. The fade is just going to feed directly into that. I just want to make sure that the basis of what length the top is is where we want it to be first. Man, I can't wait to call my wife and get a reaction. <laughs> She's go. going to flip. Right now I'm a manager of a convenience store, but I'm also attached to the, the United States Air Force and the reserves. So tell me what brings you to Austin? Uh, honestly, beer brand. I've been using the products for a couple years now and usually helps out. And when I found out, you know, Austin base and they had a barbershop, I figured I couldn't go wrong coming up here because usually in Colleen, I try to get a good spot and they, they tear up my beard every time. It's, it's the beer trim part that I struggle hard with. In fact, the one time I went in Colleen, not only did they just butcher my beard, she actually trimmed like half of this side of my mustache and left the rest. So I was lopsided. Just, it's just always been pretty tragic. Up top, I'm basically going with a girlfriend and just embracing the full Viking. Okay. And so we're going to take off the sides back and just go for a straight okay. undercut. That'll be nice too, because I can still, I can kind of rock this while in uniform. Mm -hmm. And then once I'm done, I'll be, be able to keep just letting it grow. I'm in the reserves, but instead of doing the classic one week in a month, two, you know, two weeks a year, they just compress it all at once. So I go up to Utah and I'll work for like 27 days straight. And then my commitment for the year is done. So I'm a full-time student also. So with that, I usually plan it so I can do it in the summer between semesters. So usually mid-May to late May, I'll go do my time, take me to mid-June to late June. And then from there, I just kind of let it grow every year. I know last time we were talking about looking into some beard competitions, like a yeah. sprint competition. See if I can yeah. see what happens with that. Because every time somebody asks me how long I've been growing my beard, they never believe me that it's only been a year, less than a year, really. Actually, the last time I attempted a, the undercut, they didn't do like you're doing. They brought it like way up, and it was just yeah. like right down the center and up even higher than what it really should have yeah. been on my head. And I was like, mm. that's why I shied away from it for so long and even growing my hair out. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just keep it short. Yeah, it's nice to get away from just the, most of my career has been, just give me a three up top, one on the side, high fade and roll. Just a little something different. It's always a sad day when I have to get rid of this thing. The worst part is somebody was just telling me that like the Air Force is having like a big meeting, kind of going over their uniform guidelines oh, okay. and whatnot. Yeah. 
and then actually yeah. allowing beards is on the table. Okay. They're talking about it. I'm so like, no, my luck, happens. I'll shave it yeah. off. And they'll be like, yeah, you can keep your beard. Right after I shave it off. Merry Christmas. Yeah. I drive across town to come to this spot specifically. There's probably 50 other barber shops I could have went to. Uh, but at the end of the day, like, I mean, Kenny knows what, you know, I want with my hair. And even on the times where I might be a little iffy on something, like, he's always very clear in communicating, like, hey, this is what I'm going to get for you and this is what I think will be best. And 10 times out of 10, bro, it's usually, you know, the right fit. Definitely want to trim it up with some scissors on top. Okay. And then, and obviously we can just kind of take it to like the same length you did last time. Sweet. That was good, yeah. You like a little bit more low maintenance on top, something yeah. you can kind of just wake up in the morning and go with. Mm -hmm. Cool. We can For like a solid week, you know what I mean? Are you At least uh, a solid week. He's a, he's a coach and a trainer, so you know, he doesn't want to have to be taking care of his hair throughout the day too much, so yeah, we'll, we'll make it nice for you. Priority number one right there. How can I not look dusty for like <laughs> 10 days? So pretty much what I'm doing is, you know, Christian, I typically do a higher mid fade on him just cause like he likes it to last a little bit longer since, you know, he comes in every maybe two to three weeks. Um, so really I'm just putting in my bald line just a little bit higher than normal. Typically I'll drop it a little bit, but since I know, you know, he wants it to last a little longer, we're gonna, we're gonna transition the fade a little higher. But yeah, I'm just putting in my bald line right now. It's kind of matching up, making sure Everything's even on both sides, and then kind of whack away at it with a two, and then start blending from there. But now Christian actually is a uh, has been very helpful throughout my process of becoming a barber and getting licensed and everything. Just because, like I said, he he was one of those friends that just sit in my chair right away when I didn't really know what I was doing, and uh, kind of helped me progress my skills, you know, without any you know critiques or anything like that. So you know, I definitely appreciate him, and he's somebody I always. Uh, be willing to take care of in my chair just because he's helped me such along the way. Just going a little shorter with my super shaver. I don't like to go too, too high. I like the transition of some stubble. You know, my trimmers get close enough where it's still going to look like skin, but you know, I kind of just hit around the sideburn area, a little bit behind the ear, and I'll go over it when I finish the cut just in case I see anything uneven a little bit, but yeah, I'm pretty soft with this. I don't really go into, I don't want to have it like baby skin or anything all the way around. Just gonna start a guideline, just start flicking away. It's almost like painting, you know? Everybody kind of does something different, but it still be a beautiful, you can't, I don't know, it's still beautiful at the end. You can't really tell somebody how to paint. <laughs> hey Cisco, you're on. Your time starts now. Mom is a little dubious about this boot, man. Can you see scars on my head? I oh, I can see a big I got, one. I can see one. We got this. We got, there's like one little one here. I feel like we're gonna find out There's more. a massive moon-shaped one on my head, on the top, isn't it? I know I have one here, one in the back, and this one was all in the same day. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's stupid kid stuff. So and who that, won, is my question. Well, the, the stone, and then the ground, and the ground again. Fair. Yeah. Fair. So right now I'm setting our bald line. So I'm gonna have it start about mid. So pretty close to where the curve of his head is in terms of the hairline. And it's funny because I can see how it wants to even on the sides pull back. But this is a perfect reset for everything. It's gonna go back to just being like, oh, this is a fresh head of hair. I just do this to set the guideline and then I'm gonna take the shaver in and take it truly down to bold about a half an inch below this line. It looks great how it is. I'm very happy with how it's turning out. Um, I'm just barely just gonna nab some ends here. So I'm okay with undercuts, but when they have this ducktail that's touching their neck, I'm like, it's time to chop it off and, and have it a little more taken up. Put a little bit of texture in there with the razor. Just 
trim up those ends, not take it too short. We want a little bit of a overhang. So now we get some heat. Straight back, a little bit of volume here on the front. I'm mad that you told me that they're getting rid of spiced citrus. I'm a little upset about that. I told that. you that last time, I think. Yeah, I'm a little upset about that. Yeah. That's, that's been my go-to forever. Well, Temple that's Smoke my, can be the, I was about to say, that's my <laughs> backup. Temple Smoke can be the new one, Temple man. Smoke is the backup. You can blow dry it all back, very simple, um, and then a little bit of styling balm, and it's not going to weigh your hair down too much. Yeah. So now I'm just working down. Um, I put in a guideline of my open guard and then I put in a guideline with my closed one. So now I'm just going to work down and just flick out this bald line. I'm going to start back open with my fast feed, just kind of chip away at any, you know, dark spots that maybe didn't get taken out yet. But so I put the two up to Christian's head. Now I'm just kind of flicking away at it with the one and a half and I'm just going to work my way down, like I said, kind of like an eraser to me. So I'm just trying to lighten it up a bit. See a nice transition, no dark spots. And I just use my corner to flick out right here. So I want to make sure that it's a little long in the front where he has something to kind of play with. But it's not going to be like this drastic, just like swoop or anything like that. So I just kind of go through and just kind of just softly, just like anything that's maybe sticking out of place a little bit, just kind of soften that up. And then I'm going to go through, he has very thick hair as well. I'm gonna go through and texturize it just a bit, just to kind of loosen it up for him so it sits well. Just gonna give him some nice texture in his hair, not make it look too flat or anything. And so I'm just following just the natural line that I see, which obviously, you know, we're making it a little crispy. We're gonna go in there and, you know, get him some nice corners. What it's doing is just helping, just some definition here, as well as in the corner. I'm not doing enhancements or making it look like I, you know, used a protractor in order to line you up or anything like that, so. You know, I appreciate stuff like that, but for me, I'm more on the natural side. I want it to look good three, four days from now when it grows in. Okay. Did you hit 10? No, not yet. Bro, we've definitely said. You're definitely at like three. <laughs> <laughs> dubious, dubious, dubious. Dubious, dubious. <laughs> no, as soon as I'm done with the military, I'm just full Gandalf going all the way down. That'd be great. So anything in particular we're doing to the mustache? Just kind of trimming it back off okay. the lip so I'm not eating it all the time. Okay, off the lip all the way? Yeah, yeah, or, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, just off like right here. Okay, right cool. Here. Yeah, yeah. But still like groomable? Yeah. Okay, we are a little bit of the stash off. But dang, is this stash looking good. Not really that really center and going in the direction that he's going to groom it just to give it a, to that shape even those short hairs bund into those longer hairs because we're not trying to get all these hairs shorter we're just wanting this more manageable just grow as fast as his beard grows man we're way back one of the barber shops there in Killeen one of those right right outside the gate of Fort Hood he's like oh you want to trim your eyebrows I'm like yeah actually that'd be cool <laughs> He took them off. Yeah. They were gone. I was so mad. <laughs> I looked goofy. And I was in uniform too. I looked so goofy for like one. So of course I got made fun of yeah. that work. Of course. Some Temple Smoke Utility Bomb. Just a little bit in here. Some that stash. Some nice hold to it. I like that the beard is darker than the mustache a little bit. Yeah, it's really nice. That, that mustache sticks out. 
nice contrast. I like to naturally line things up. We're just gonna line it up, connect it to the mustache, as well as underneath the neck, jawline. And then if anything, I'm not gonna shorten the beard, but I may take some of these flyaways and just kind of just like round them into the chin and just kind of make everything lay down. Then since he has a skin fade on the side, we're gonna taper this from, you know, pretty short into the skin and just make it a nice transition. And then as you can see also, you know, he doesn't have the best connection when it comes to, you know, straight to his mustache line or anything. So, you know, he likes to drop it in pretty, pretty well. So his is one of those where I guess, obviously I'm, pushing it in a little bit more than I normally would with people, but it's just to create that dominance and, you know, have some sort of, you know, drop on his beard and shape. I'm gonna go pretty low, like I said, it gets a uh, super light on his side right here. And we're just gonna kind of work our way up from there, close it a little bit. I'm gonna take my trimmer, kind of just push it down a little bit, just kind of flick away. I'm just gonna kind of get the last of that hair at the top. Just gonna get my super shaver, last little detail work. Since he doesn't use razor, I still wanna get it pretty close to where, you know, this new growth isn't gonna come back super fast. And then we're gonna style his hair today with some of the Temple Smoke by Beard Brand. I like this one a lot. Old Money was my favorite when I first started working here. I'm starting to gravitate a lot more towards this one. I, I really like the smell of the Temple Smoke. I don't know how to explain it. This just has, when I smell, I know this is what, this is what I want. So I like this one. We're gonna go ahead and try this one on him. Get it in your hands. I like to kind of emulsify it and get it nice and hot gonna spread a lot better and with him I just kind of put it all in there there really is not his hair is so short there isn't no you know magic way to put it in or anything I just like to get it in there and just move it around So with mustaches like this, I generally like to keep a little bit of a natural curve, so following down with there. Tom Selleck's got nothing on me, mate. Not at all. <laughs> Tom Selleck's trying to look like you. I'm gonna grab a little bit of Utility balm. This is the four vices. I'm gonna work it in. So I grab it, and almost like you're snapping your fingers. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna help all the stray hairs stay down and where you want them to go. It's a little bit of sheen, a little bit of control, and it keeps everything where you want it to go. At first, I didn't. I wasn't quite sure about the haircut, but our routine's got such. Uh, attention for detail and you make this look really awesome and I actually like it more than I thought I would. It's good to take uh, you know kind of risk sometimes you might find something new about you. It's always a good one I think last time actually I fell asleep during it I just haircuts are relaxing when it's a good barber and I just I'm out. <laughs> I just love the haircut and the beard looks good. Yeah I, I've recommended so many different people to uh, to Kenny not just like the NBA guys and the people who want like the house calls, but like even just like the everyday guy who's, you know, like a, a colleague of mine, a personal trainer of mine. Don't go to those generic barbershops. Like come to people who like know you by your first name. You know you have the queen of hearts, okay? And I have the queen of diamonds right here. This is where it gets tricky. So you're going to so you're here, so you're here. One more time, one more time. Have a look. Queen of hearts. Okay. Hearts diamonds. Hearts. I'm not good at memory. All right, so we got the diamonds. I'll take the diamonds. I'm going to switch you for the hearts. I pretend every time again, I still have the hearts. I pretend one more time, you have the hearts, I have the diamonds. Which one's on top, which one's on the bottom? This is the hearts. Hearts on top the diamonds. Okay, well, we can do like this one here. You can see them over there in this pocket like that. So that means for this one here, you must have got the... <laughs> the other thing you should know about Beard Brand is that it's not just about the videos and the information and the grooming and the products. It's also about you, the individual, the inside as well. My name is Bud. 
I'm a veterinarian, I'm a four vices kind of guy, and if you're going to grow it, you better own it.